there's sheriff's vehicles in town. And I'm kind of curious as to, you know, we have the same problem here. And I, every every guy I interview for sheriff seems to have the same problem. I talked to the guy from, uh, uh, well, Wes. You know, every one of these towns, I mean, why are the county sheriffs sitting in a city which already has a police force? It's duplicative, number one. And number two, you know, if you're sitting in the city and a call comes in from in the outlying area, now I, I, I get it, you know, if, you're, if there's only two deputies or three deputies to cover the entire county, these are some big counties. They're huge. And, you know, if you're on the wrong side of the county, that could almost be just as bad as, you know, whatever. But my concern with it is that if you're, if you're sitting there over, you know, surrounding an area that is um, already got a police force in there, then that's really not where you should be. I mean... You know, you should be out patrolling areas where you know are likely to be problems, where you know you know that they're out there making methamphetamine, as an example, and those types of things. And I get you; nobody really wants to go running around in the tick-filled woods right now, but it's hot as hell. It's 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 uncomfortable. But you know, you're not going to find people sitting on the main street in the square when you know. Let's face it; they know you're there. Our, you're in a marked vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Our job. Uh, uh, as law enforcement officers is to uh, our first the first tier on our force continuum is officer presence uh, right you have to you have to be seen and have people recognize absolutely. you're out there that's your first deterrent right is officer presence right and if we're out there patrolling the county like we should be doing and and getting all that red clay all over those vehicles um then they're out there doing their job sure um they that is a problem we right. now the budget you're uh you do have with these large counties that that are mostly national forest oregon county texas county shannon county uh we've sure. got a national forest here in howe county maybe not as much as the other counties but um it becomes you know without that tax base you have a limited budget so you, you have to use what resources are available to you but mm-hmm. you still have to patrol that county. You still now, have to be. You're not there. responsible in a, in federal lands, right? So, I mean, uh, or, or are you? Well, it, if it if it's inside the county, uh, then the, it falls under the purview of the county sheriff. Now, there are uh, there are certain lands that are are purchased by the federal government, and which is I have a big argument with, but that's a whole different show. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, but those lands are those do fall under the ballywick of the federal government. I got you, but so you are. Do you patrol forest or you know national forest properties? Uh, or right now, I patrol the city of Winona. Uh, okay, let me. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> Does the is, is the county sheriff responsible for that? I guess that's a better question. I don't believe he is. There's a uh, there's a grant that's available through the feds uh, that that you can apply for, and if if you win it, then it pays um, a deputy or two to patrol those uh forest service so roads kind of supplement happen. federal yes sir gotcha yes sir and you only have how many deputies now for the county uh as far as i know there's four and that includes the sheriff okay so boy that's a lot of ground to cover with very yeah. few people which he has several reserves that i'm aware of but um and a transport officer which is a commissioned he's a commissioned officer but uh as far as working day in and day out right uh, there are two road deputies uh, there's one uh, bailiff and then the sheriff himself. Gotcha. All right. We got to take a uh, now, you know, I this is an interesting conversation. So if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you to hold over for the top of the sure. hour break if that's OK. I'd be tickled. Um, it's a couple minutes short of the top of the hour, folks. And we've got to do the uh, normal uh, capitalistic uh, rant here, which is commercials. Um, well, this is news and weather top of the hour stuff. So uh, when we come back, we're, we're going to have uh, I'm going to ask Don to just hang out for a few more minutes with us and then. Um, uh, we'll run the show until nine. Uh, our telephone numbers are two five seven eleven eleven eight six six five five four sixty six thirty six, and um, this is one hundred seven point one. The point KBMV, and we're shooting out of West Plains and uh, also Birch Tree. If you need to speak to Don or if you have a question for him, you can call him at two nine three thirty seven thirty seven, or he's got a Facebook page at. Don Crowley for Shannon County Sheriff. Okay. (laughs) That was too much for me to remember. (laughs) So, um, listen, you all know my my position on this stuff. So, if you support him and you think he's the right guy, then get out there and help the guy. All right? We'll be right back. All right. um, You're listening to America's Voice. We're on 107.1 KBMV out of Birch Tree in West Plains. 
and uh, you're listening to Ozark's Best News Talk at 107.1 The Point. Uh, my name is Mike Manchin, and we are on the air under America's Voice. Uh, we're, we have Don Crowley in the uh, studio this morning with us. And, um, Don, there was something you wanted to kind of talk about. There's a constitutional amendment out there that you wanted to bring up. Yes, sir. It's a uh, it, hit it, on that. It's going to be on the, uh, it's going to be on the ballot here in the, in the primary in August. It's a, a constitutional amendment to the Missouri constitution. It's a constitutional amendment. Number two, um, I would like to see all the voters first and foremost, I'd like to see all of our registered voters, uh, get out and vote and all those who aren't registered to go get registered and vote. Let your voice be heard. Uh, and let me let me let me interrupt you there because this is right up my alley. I've said to you all before many many times this August seventh vote is not just a primary. There is far more going on in this in this voting uh, ele- in this election on August seventh than just whether or not you're going to pick a candidate who's going to run against another candidate. There are ballot issues out there and constitutional amendments or amendments to our state constitution that are going to either be passed or fail based on whether or not you're taking action. So that's my pitch. Go ahead. Well, this constitutional (laughs) amendment, I can't think of a a better reason to amend the Missouri Constitution other than this. Uh, What's it say? uh, The first point is that uh, it says that uh, it's requesting our vote, and it says, shall the Missouri Constitution be amended to ensure the right, the first point, the right to uh, of Missouri citizens to express their religious beliefs shall not be infringed. I think that's an outstanding amendment. Uh, the second point is that school children have the right to pray and acknowledge God voluntarily in their schools, and that all public schools shall display, and it says shall, display mm-hmm. uh the bill of rights of the united states constitution absolutely uh, and that that's all that that it, cinches it for me folks you better be voting yes on constitutional amendment number two is yes it? sir that's correct okay. um <clears throat> you know very rarely will i tell you how you ought to vote but i'm telling you right now you will vote for this one okay we've got a caller on the line i believe too who might have a question for us go ahead caller good morning good morning First of all, I live in Shannon County, and uh, I have met Don Crowley. <clears throat> okay. And uh, he's just my type of guy, and I intend to vote for him. Matter of fact, I can almost guarantee him five votes, maybe six. But he's the type of guy we need. Uh, I know there's a lot of... Uh, I've lived here for 15 years, and I know that there's some people will vote for... Uh, someone because he's a good old boy and they know him and this and that but i'm not that type uh i i believe in what don crowley stands for uh 